Hi guys, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can create AI Notes app using MIT App Inventor. So I got a lot of suggestion on this app, but there are a lot of, so it's take a lot of time also. So that's why in the first step, we will create a simple AI Notes app, then we will implement all these features. Okay, so let me show you the demo first. Okay, so you can see that's my AI Notes app. Okay, so let me just open this app and let's see how it's work. Okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to your Notes, Notes AI Notes, Notes app. app. Please, Please tell, tell me your, your password. password. 456. Your, your password, password is, is wrong. wrong. Please, Please tell, tell me again. again. 1234. Thank, Thank you. you. Here, Here we go. go. So now the password is right. That's why we're here. If the password is wrong, so she will tell you that the password is wrong. Okay, so now click on this right button write my first note okay so that's the note uh, whatever we uh, say she will write everything here and whenever you say second time so this will write in the second line from the another row okay so let me just say again click on this write button i have to do my homework tomorrow right so now that's my notes now let me just uh, click right click on and that let me just delete all these notes so just click on this write button and say delete notes when the notes are deleted so that's the overall app we will create in this video okay so here we go so we are using your app inventor.mit.edu we just need to click on start new project okay and my project name is ai notes 007 that's my app name now that's my first screen so that's all my balcony screen of my notes so in this screen i'm going to make a lock okay voice lock so how can i do that so simply i'm going to just drag and drop click on this layout option in the left side you will find this one and drag and drop this vertical arrangement okay and make it fill parent and make this one is also fill parent and change this background color to something orange or something click on user interface and here just need to drag and drop one label click on this layout and make it in a center and make it in a center Click on this label, change this text to something, welcome, welcome only. Okay, and I'm going to make it 30 and I'm going to make this one text. I'm going to change this background color to something dark. Okay, and I'm going to make it in a tile. Fine, and in the welcome, I'm going to make it white. Okay, fine, and make it bold, welcome. Okay, so whenever someone open this screen so there's ai and they, uh, she said like welcome welcome Saurabh or welcome someone and please uh, say your password okay you don't need to put your password you just you just need to say you just need to say that that's my password something like that so for that i need one extension that my text so just open new tab and just call your sc voice recognizer and uh, let me just open this and here you can see the version 8 i'm going to make it i'm going to download this aix file go to the mit app inventor click on extension click on import extension and drag and drop this extension here click on import now just drag and drop this here like this and you can see in the media and in the media you will find text to speech just drag and drop this one also okay now and we need one cloud tv also click on storage and cloud tv simple now go to the block and whenever our screen will initialize a screen will initialize then we will tag call here text to speech and the text to speech something like welcome welcome to Welcome to your Notes app. Okay. AI Notes app. Fine. Now, whenever I say, so for whenever this screen will in its lies, so we have to call one more thing here. Okay. So after this, okay. So click on speech recognizer and you can see the, we have to get text. Okay. So for that, we need one button here or we can say that after this speaking like after click on text to speech and you can see call dot speak after speak 
okay yeah, after speaking i just need to call this as a speech recognizer okay in screen initialize welcome to your notes ai app then this will as a speech recognizer will call after speaking then we will use control okay and click on this i see this one and after getting text we have to check condition okay and that one is fine i have to do one more thing here i'm going to use your two uh, speech recognizer please uh, or you can just put it in our same row like fine and then please uh, tell me your password okay simply then we will get the password okay so we have to just tell one two three four or seven five six whatever and then we have to check condition the condition if it's true if the after get recognized it means get result is equal so this one is a static password you can make it dynamic also using cloud tv or some one form also so i'm going to make it one two three four that's my password okay so if the password is correct then i'm going to hide this vertical arrangement from here like this okay make it false and then condition and then i have to make another one should be on so for that click on this vertical arrangement and command c or control c and control v simply and make it one is visible of for second one i'm going to make it uh, delete this one welcome from here and that's my second one vertical arrangement two it means our main screen where we have to write down our notes so go to the block and here we need to display this so just copy paste it like this this one is hide and this one should be true and this one should be vertical arrangement too okay if the password is wrong or someone say another thing okay so in the else part okay whatever we he, uh, he or she said then we have to call here again that one is like your password is wrong okay please tell me again okay simple now whenever this will call then automatically this after speaking will automatically call because this one is after speaking okay now if the password is right then we will move to this here okay now now we have to uh, actually the thing is what we can do here we can add one more screen here okay simply so for that click on their add screen option okay and the screen 2 is our name of our screen simply okay and then go to the just select screen 1 from here and go to the block okay and then whenever someone the password is right then we will move it to the screen 2 so we are not going to hide anything we just open another screen so just call here open another screen okay this one open another screen and the screen name is screen 2 this will be simpler okay screen 2 fine okay so this is uh, amazing now go to the design that's my first screen and now let me just open okay let me just open my another screen screen 2 so i have to delete this one i don't need it vertical arrangement 2 i just need this vertical arrangement 1 okay welcome screen then select this screen from here you can see drop down list select 2 that's my second screen where we need to write uh, our notes so for that i just i'm going to use here one text box you can see in the left side you will find text box just drag and drop it here and make it with this fill parent and the height is height or width is fill parent and change this background color to i'm going to make it again tell okay and the text i'm going to make it should be white like this and the hint text is something right right here okay so that's my uh, notes i need one button here okay fine and then i just need to make it fill parent okay and then click on this screen too and make this one background color and to make it black okay then change this button color to something orange and change this button text to right okay and make it font bold and make it at least 18 
okay you just need to click on this right button to uh, to add our notes okay now uh, it's fine now how we can save this notes in cloud db because we have to save because whenever we close on my app or app then the data will lost and we lose our data so how we can save this data okay so how what we can do here we will use your cloud tv so go to the block section okay so whenever someone click on the, click on this button so we have to call here a speech recognizer okay so go to the design and i need her again like speech recognizer here we will find in the extension just drag and drop this here okay and we need here cloud tv i'm going to delete my cloud tv from my screen one i don't need there so now go to the block okay so when button one click someone click on this button one so we will call here get text okay and then whatever text we will get from this after getting the result we will save this all this text in text box one dot text here okay and the text should be the result get result now after getting result we have to save this data in cloud tv so click on cloud tv and whenever a screen will initialize it means a screen 2 will initialize so we have to first fetch data if the data is exist or not in the cloud tv okay first we have to check it so click on cloud tv and you can see the get value okay and the tag should be this one is a static tag i'm going to make it here the something data okay that's my data and if the value is not there then we will display it here nothing nothing okay so whenever we call this get value so this block automatically call got value okay then whenever we got the value so we have to display this text box one dot text should be value we will get the value from cloud db in the text box one dot text now whenever we get something and whenever we write something so we have to save this data in cloud db okay so for that click on cloud db and we can see the store value this one okay and where we have to store this value we will store this value in data tag and the value we have to store is text box one dot text simple right that's really very simple now it's fine now whenever someone click on this speech recognizer okay and whenever we get something like please delete this data okay or something it means click on maths and you will find condition whenever the result is something like delete delete task or delete notes okay so it means text you can change it here if i just say delete not so whenever the result is delete notes then we have to clear all data from our cloud tv so here you can see clear tag this one we will call it here and tag is our data okay now this one simply we will call it here so this and after the deleting the data after this we have to fetch this data it means this one so we have to which we can't store the data we have to use it in a else block okay else block if the delete notes is not there if something other tags then we will call here store data into this okay now after getting text we have to do this but we have to fetch whenever we delete the data so we have to fetch again from cloud db okay so for that just we have to call it here this one and then say this uh, get result not get result we have to just set it here like this and we have to get value okay and whenever we call this one so this will automatically call and save the value in our text box one it means nothing because whenever we clear tag this will fetch value from get data it means there is nothing then this will display nothing whenever we say something whenever we add another node so this will replace the previous uh, previous task or previous node previous node so for that we have to add existing text or existing data so we will call here click on text and you can see the join this one so just call it here and we will call it one more thing here and we will add 
every new task in a, from the new line. So for that, for the new line, just copy this text and in the center, just change it and make it this one uh, slash and n. And in the join, we will make it text box one dot text and then we will make it here result. We will add it here result. Okay, like this. And then just play it this one, this one button simply. Okay. More thing we have to do, go to the design section, click on this text box and make sure this should be multi-line. Okay, multi-line, this should be. Now, what we can do here, one thing we should do here, click on screen one, select, and if the password is right, okay, we have to tell something about this. So for that, we will call here, if the password is right, so we will call here, okay, uh, thank you. I should write like this. Here we go okay now that's the overall app we have created till now so just comment on the video and let me know that do you really want more features on this uh, app or what feature you really want i know you already have commented a lot of comments on the previous video that feature you want but uh, i know that a lot of feature i have to cover but it's a long video so let me know priority like uh, which feature i should add and this should be a uh, useful for you really useful for you okay so let me just comment on the video and i'll try my best to create the another part of this app okay to add on some more features okay so thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you have some doubt you can ask me on command and make sure please subscribe my channel like this video share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye